Hello guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to the Tech2Q YouTube channel. Today I'm going to take a quick look at the SanDisk's pretty popular value choice amongst SSDs, their Ultra 2 model, both the 240GB and the 480GB one. The product box is pretty much your usual example of the SanDisk's packaging. On the front you can see a picture of the SSD itself, with its capacity and rough performance figures placed in the right top corner. Going to the other side you won't encounter anything special beside the multilingual overview of the product and some capacity disclaimers. Opening up the box, here we have a reminder to download the SanDisk's SSD dashboard application for monitoring SSD or upgrading its firmware. A user manual and a 7 to 9 mm adapter. And here is the SSD itself. Design wise, as with any other SSD, here we have a classic enclosure with a series name sticker on the top and declaration sticker on the bottom with this open style type of connector for SATA power and SATA data ports. Beside being a standard looking 2.5 inch 7mm SSD from the outside, the SanDisk Ultra 2 series hides an interesting hardware combination behind that metal shroud. In there you will find SanDisk's own 19nm TLC NAND flash coupled with the Marvel's SS9187 controller. This Marvel's controller is a pretty rare sight for me and in general there are not a lot of drives which use it, probably because it's almost 2 years old. On the other side this SanDisk's NAND flash isn't too new either, as the 15 nanometer SKUs just landed as we speak, but still as you will see together hand in hand both deliver really good performance even for today's standard. Beside the 240 and 480 gigabyte models you can also get the larger 960 gigabyte and smaller 120 gigabyte one Putting those two drives to a test, I got some pretty decent results. The performance difference between them is actually next to negligible and overall both drives deliver above average figures even when comparing benchmarks with compressed and uncompressed data. That said, although it has as I said somewhat above average results, I don't think that it falls in that so to speak group of top competitors for its segment. Since it is getting harder to compete on the market with other brands breathing on their neck, sometimes even amongst their own portfolio, being in the lower price bracket when it comes to SSDs helps a lot, especially since they are also close to each other when it comes to end user experience. Although the Ultra 2 series comes in as a reasonably priced alternative, it's still 5 to 10 dollars more than models like ADATA SP550, OCZ Trion 150, Crucial's BX200 and so on. Since the Ultra 2 series doesn't have that much more to offer, it's unlikely that anybody would put it before them for that extra 5 to 10 dollars. That's it guys for this time, thank you once again for checking out the unboxing and review of the SanDisk's Ultra 2 SSD. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our TechTech YouTube channel or you can just check out our other videos from before.